talking through all the cards, um, and I'm just trying to figure out what pick is best <laughs> instead. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see. Jade Stone's fine. I'm not going to first pick it. The call is, I think, pretty great. Um, just a, a three mana, one five alone is pretty great. Uh, Ray Ruin is here. Cave is here. This kind of wrecked us last game. No chance. Not really a fan of the Spyglass. Um. I actually don't want any of these cards first pick. Maybe this one? To lean into green or the Jade Stones? Let's try out the Jade Stones. Or Jade Seed Stones, sorry. Jade Seed Stones. We're gonna try it out. Oh, so, like, um, the lands I run <laughs> are really based on a lot of factors. Why not the rare? Um, well, I'm regretting not taking the rare, um, but I kind of want to just try this, like, I don't know. Just take cards you like. <laughs> the first time you draft, just take any card you've been wanting to try out and see how it works out. I think this is a very good black card, right? Two mana, get something. Get a 1-1. One, one. Reflections is pretty good too. I will take Reflection. It's stronger. The only thing I don't like about this card is that um, you do have to have a creature on the board to target with it. So if you top deck it and uh, you don't have any creatures out there, it's not so great. Okay. Meh. Yeah. The Rampaging Ceratops is probably the best card here. So I think I'm going to take it. And we'll find our lane eventually. I'm going to stay open though. Uh, so what I was saying about the lands while we have a minute to talk. Um, in my mind, you can play up to five colors, and it still be a base color, one color, two colors, or three color deck. It is very rare for somebody to have four main colors. Um, so really, when you're looking at mana bases, I look at whether I'm playing a two color deck splashing, a one color deck splashing, or a three color deck with no splash or even splashing at that point. Um, and that will depend, that will dictate my mana. That'll dictate my ratios. That'll dictate what two drops I take, what color those two drops are. Um, it'll dictate all my early plays through turn three. So it's a very complicated question about how many lands I run and why uh, of each color when I do a three color plus deck. Um, unfortunately, it's not a simple answer. This is good, right? I think so. We just do an over the edge to stay with the colors we already have. Instead of going into four colors. It's fine. Got another chance at one. Ah, the axe draw. Why is that still in the pack? <laughs> I mean, eventually we do need to get some two drops, and we will. Uh, but axe draws. So good. It explores. Four mana, five, four if it explores. And if not, it's a four mana, four, three that draws a card. What is not to like? <laughs> so strong. Hmm. 
Yeah. We're we're too far away from entertaining that, I think. And based on what we're seeing, we have other good options. We can take the cave here if we want, but we're not sure we're in blue. Take the land cycler, which does have really good synergy in black. There's also an excellent removal spell. I mean, it's five mana, so it's not that great, but it's still removal. You just take a torch. I think we're seeing a signal that black is open. So I'm going to go ahead and take the black removal card because we saw the two vipers and now all that black. And now we're getting a snail. So I'm going to jump into black here. Uh, maybe we'll be black green, but black is clearly open. I think this is a very good card. I'm not sure why it's still here either, but maybe not a lot of people are in white either. But let's go with the snail. Flail is a good enabler, but not exactly the card I want to be playing. This is fixing in a set that I don't think there's that much fixing. Um, so maybe knowing me, I take that, but also just another five drop here. That are the cave. I'm going to regret not taking that mana rock. <laughs> but I'm greedy. Lane Cycler. Yeah, white might be a little bit open as well. I think this is playable. Although I don't love it. I'm going to take another Ray of Ruin, I think. I want to make sure I have enough interaction for big things. Since I do think with this start... Um... We're pretty slow to the board, so we're going to need to have some removal and interaction early. Is this most likely to make my deck? Maybe. At the very least, it's a two drop. Although I'm... I'm not <laughs> willing to give up my green at the moment. Our green is very good. The red, it looks pretty closed. Not sure red's gonna work out. No, the chance is fine. Yep, we're doing something grindy. I do not want another 5 drop. But I don't think I want that either. Take the door. And take the 5 drop. I think creatures are important. Blow gun. Take the whale. Yeah, if we end up in a... Blue black, this is very playable. Land. Pretty far from white. I think uh, the spring loaded saw blades is excellent. That's some pretty efficient removal in green. The guide is great. I guess I want to see what our early plays are here. I want this, but I think I need to take this so that I have uh, earlier plays to the board. Right now I do not have enough plays to the board. And even buried treasure is kind of considerable because it will ramp us up to our fours that are so important, but I'm going to take the, the guide. The ETB here is pretty good. Cave. Infinite five drops. <laughs> uh, do I want to take a four drop? Given our start. Or should I try and pull red into this? And go ahead and take the two drop instead. 
I think you could make an argument for either with this start, but I do like our removal in black. I'm going to go ahead and take the echo. <laughs> yes. Uh. This, what is this card? Not so sure about that, but we do have one of my favorite two drops in the format that aren't supported in colors. Uh, it's a little awkward here, but we also have an abrade. I... I'll cut the blue for the abrade plus the ceratops. If I have to. Chomp is also good. I need two drops I want. Brawler is serviceable. Um, if we cut blue, what are we looking at here? I need a two drop. Will two drops come? I'm gonna hope two drops come. I'm gonna take the axe draw. I'm gonna be greedy. Favor is good. Torch is good. What does this one do? Nothing. So this doesn't fix on its own, but it makes other things fix. I'm going to just take the removal spell ETB, even though it's not my favorite. Or we can consider the favor. Actually, I'm going to take the favor. Discover is great. I do like Captivating Cave. I'm going to take it here for fixing. Staggering Size is good. Another Ray of Ruin. Not exactly playing a Sacrifice deck. Um, but we could, right? Yeah. Uh, da, da, da. One drop. Cave. Two, two for two. I knew we'd get some two drops. I think the uh, river guide is better. I'm gonna go over greed again. It's been a pretty slow format. I think we can get away with another 3-drop. It's been a pretty slow format. I'm going to take a risk and run a higher curve than I normally do and see how it goes in draft. I don't think I want to run that either. I could try the Discovery. Especially if we're not running a lot of 2-drops or anything small. We could hit something big here. It might be nice. I think I want some more, uh, like some of those self mill two drops if I can find them. This exiles it doesn't really add to our grave. That is self mill. I'm gonna take it here. <laughs> Uh, reach, enter, self mill, maybe. Two, two for two that I knew we'd eventually get. There it is. Coming together. Okay. We can splash this card. It's 
not the right pick, though. Uh, do I want to go for fun and be troll? <laughs> Obvious for color now. Kazoo, you would know that I, I really... I don't know. Maybe. Nah, I'm just gonna take the bristle back. Cyclers are great. Uh, five Vita. So sad. Somebody else can play with it today. We're gonna make somebody else play with it. This was fine. Two mana removal spell. I liked it. In our sealed pool. Just take another land though. A removal looking. Where are we at? 12 creatures. Was looking okay. It's a chance this could wheel. I mean, this one was really late. Although it's the only green card in the pack, so maybe not. I don't think Collapse will wheel. This is good. Pretty good in our deck. Hmm. Instead we have a spike tail. <laughs> Let's just skip to three colors for the uh, first draft of the format, Kazoo. I'm so tempted. <laughs> but if I had more fixing, I would definitely go here, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, I think I'm just going to take another guide. I want to pick up a battle trick or two. Because these are very aggressive leaning cards. Wow. Yeah. Um... Yeah, these are very aggressive leaning cards, so any red battle trick would be really nice to have. Especially the first strike treasure token one. I have not seen one yet, so we're going to just take this nice little beauty where I can look at their hand and take an artifact or a creature from it. Pretty good. We will not get the flicker value off of it, but oh well. Heart of course is actually quite good. Buried treasure here is fine. It is fixing for us. I actually think this is playable. We're looking for battle tricks. And if I get to explore again off of this, that's quite good. I'm going to take it. We're going to try it. Buried treasure is good too. I, I think you could have taken taken either. <laughs> uh, we have enough dinos where I want the treasures, that's fine. I don't need to be playing artifacts on top of it. Um, it's kind of shocking this is still in the back. Uh, we need to make cuts. Guess I'll think about that when I have time. Two, two for two. Artifact. Fine. I think Discovery is going to get cut. Possible this gets cut as well, right? I want to be aggressive leaning. Really kind of want to load up on some earlier plays. Maybe we don't play the offering, although we have lots of ways to make treasure. Pretty fantastic. Yeah, I'm gonna take another search. Oops, let's cut the veteran. Cut the spider. Put all this white. Uh, where are we at? 13 creatures? None of this matters. I, w I wish I had picked up more fixing. <laughs> uh, regret. Hmm. 
maybe? Equipment be does become better since we have the poetic ingenuity. Two cuts. I am gonna run. Well, gosh, we're making a lot of treasures again. I was about to say we're gonna run 17 lands, but I think with the amount of explore we have, I think we can get away with 16. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> I played a triple black in the seal pool if you missed it in a three color deck. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Got some land cyclers to make up for the difference as well. This is a pretty sick combo on the snail, right? Trade up for the creature, or bow trick, so make this, you know, block for three. And then when it ETBs back, you get another card from their hand. Seems good. <laughs> I think it might just cut the brawler. I'm worried 12 creatures isn't enough. But we ran 12 creatures last time and it was fine. Or like 11? Maybe we have too many 3 drops? Maybe I just uh, cut the phantom? And this gets weaker, but... You know, whatever. Maybe we do that. And... Yeah, we're heavier on black. Pretty even. This is a true 3 color deck. Um, this is going to count as one color for every single one of them. So right now we have seven, five, seven. This is not how I'm going to run it. Um, a way to get green, but green's probably one of the most important cards early. Yeah. I'm going to run it even. We're going to run a six, six, six here. It's even enough that, yeah, it's fine. And I have drafted my two drops so that I have an even distribution in every color. So when we only get two of our three colors through the first three plays, which is very likely, it's pretty unlikely that we'll miss on every single card that we can't play in our deck. And we'll also mulligan uh, as well to make sure that that's smoother. So... People always ask me how I run so many colors, and I think part of it is the way I construct the first three turns of my deck, and the other part is knowing when to mulligan and when to risk it. And uh, how long can you risk it? How long can you last before you hit that third color? Because when you're playing more than two colors, what you're really betting on in a roundabout way is that when you do hit all your colors, your deck will be stronger than your opponent's deck could be. Um, not always the case, but that's what you're hoping for. This is a risky keep. <laughs> you should change your avatar. Oh, I missed it again. Yes, I should. Okay. Kazoo, you were like two seconds late on the avatar comment. Or maybe I was two seconds late reading. It's a risky keep. I'm going to keep it because we have uh, this and hopefully we'll hit another land. And if we don't, we'll cry. A third land of any color, including green, is something I want to see. Fine. Fine. Very good.
Let's check out their hand. It's less mana efficient, but I really want to see what they have going on in here. All right. Tap her. Okay, so it's a flash tap down. Okay, they have a mana rock and then a big creature. I think it's pretty risky letting them keep the compass, but I'm gonna let them keep it. I'm gonna take the spike tail. It's the only thing they have to add to the board and I have something I want to add to the board and then other things as well. Great. Go here. How does she do it? How does she do it? We had a play every turn. How about that? <laughs> uh. Uh, I really want the value. Let's go value. We're gonna slow play it. But knowing what's in their hand, slow playing's right. Not good. I don't think I'm ever going to want to transform this. I don't think I have wide enough board states to want to transform this. At the end of their turn, I'm going to um I'm going to draw cards by sacking the dread. As much as I want to sack a treasure token instead. I just think it's right. And they have a lot of ramp here. Um, they're getting big. So big means scary. Nice. Nice as well. They have to craft with an artifact for that. I will let them pay the mana to do that and then abrade it after. And I'm actually going to go with Favor holding up in Braid, or should I just make the Dinosaur? I guess I should make the Dinosaur. That's fine. Counter? Don't counter me. Don't counter me. Don't do it. Hmm. Yeah. Still get our dino though. We'll do this uh, only as a sorcery. Never mind. We're holding open a braid. It's the right play. <laughs> I'm gonna read my cards at some point here. We are flooding out with our 16 lands. Spelunking. What does this do? A card. Okay. I I don't think I would ever put that in my deck. Even if I was running a cave deck. I don't know. Oh, oh dear. Oh no. Holding open a braid was the right choice. <laughs> uh. 
can go ahead and destroy this before it becomes problematic. We could have explored and gone more aggressive, but I already have ways to explore. I'm gonna do now. Yeah, we'll go here. It's fine. They could have a bounce, but whatever. We didn't get the one counter off of it anyway. We drew land again. Yeah, it helps you play caves. But it's not exactly like always a ramp spell, right? You don't go looking for a cave and then put it into your hand and then put it onto the battlefield. You have to have the cave in your hand at first. It's kind of like the worm was in the last set, Kazoo, where, I mean, you kind of have to have that extra land, the fourth land in your hand to begin with, and I think that's pretty uh, risky. The only way of ruin that. Mill two death touch. Ew. Hmm. Alright. There's a big dinosaur that was put at the bottom at some point, wasn't there? This is gonna help us filter our draws. I'm gonna keep it. It's not a strong creature, but because we can filter our draws with it, I think it's valuable. Oh, thank you for the prime sub! I like that they blocked the trampler. Uh, I'm gonna hold this. Because if we start attacking in and they don't have anything in their hand, uh, I don't think I want that. And we're gonna get a 3-1 here as well, so. Uh, yeah, we have lethal. It's fine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for, uh, comment and saying that I have great videos. I appreciate it. No longer have lethal. Keep that. I guess we should have played out the 1-1. One, one. Punished. Ooh, they're gonna get it. <laughs> ah, but they're dead this turn. Good game. Great! First draft game, and we won. How about that? I'm going to change my avatar, I think. So... Thank you, Kazoo. Let's, uh, let's change our avatar really quick, since it's annoying me. Uh, profile... Avatars... There's mine. Where were we? We were here. Okay, and we're back. Thank you, well played. It wasn't that well played. I mean, I should have ran out the 1-1. One -one. We would have took one, one turn earlier, so... Technically that was a little bit of a misplay, but I kind of knew. I knew I was taking a risk. Okay. We had the game well under control. The real part of that game that, you know, was important to see is that we kept a two lander with two green in a three color deck. And that we curved out. And that we never missed our plays. <laughs> uh, I... The question is, do you ever play with actual cards or online from the start? I started playing online six months ago. 
It was the first time I ever played online. I have played exclusively tabletop my entire life. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Online is new for me. I'm not very good with the buttons, so I'm pretty slow, but I'm getting better. Um, but I learned how to read sets and craft decks and construct decks from not many cards to choose from. I learned all that on tabletop. This hand's great. You see how good this hand is? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, we held open the braid just right. Hello. Let's say hello back. Dawn Elemental. Alright. Uh, I mean, we have so many artifacts. I want... I want the value off of all of these to make the dinosaurs. But I don't think it's right to not curve out on the play, so I'm gonna go ahead and peek into their hand. So, we're losing out of, on a 3-1, but hopefully we're gaining valuable insight into what's going on here. Okay. So this is their enabler. They have one enabler that is not creature triggered besides this. So that can become a 3-3 at the moment menace that is not great. I think we have to take the phantom here, as it's their enabler. Alright. Let's do it. I'm worried we're not going to get big enough fast enough with what they have. I mean, luckily the aura is not instant speed. Um, we have another chance, but... I wouldn't say this is a good turn for us. We're only playing a two mana spell. Um, and yeah, we're getting two creatures, but... I mean, two mana for a 3-1 and a 2-2 is fantastic, but... We had to front the three mana cost over here. Still, five mana for this is pretty good. But we're leaving two open. Um, I, I don't like turns where I leave that much mana open. Yep. Dead weight triggers the... Stuff. Right. <laughs> I would like to stop drawing lands now. In fact, I think I'm going to hold the land for the um, potential discard here. I'm debating whether I want to spread out the risk. A 5-5 five five goes over the top of all of this, <laughs> uh, but it's riskier. But if this is the creature attacking in, I want it to be big. Let's go for it. Let's go for the pressure. I'm going to discard here. This is also risky. It's fine. And it's risky because I am only running 16 lands, so when I discard a land, um, that's kind of a big deal. It, I might not see another land for five more draws, so... Joining dead, yep. That's why it's risky. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Could they have a sacrifice... Or a white sacrifice? instant speed thing here to blow up a braid on the creature just to get it out 
Do you not know? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lead on offering. Uh, now... How much do we think that's a land left in their hand? I think this is okay. This could get the last card out of the hand. That's fine to keep. Uh, let's go ahead and attack. Get our treasure. And while they're tapped out, I'm going to kill the 3-3. Three, three. Um, if they have a way to blow this up, congratulations. <laughs> Uh, I think we're in a good spot. They slam that down, we still trade. Everything's right in the world. We get the extra card out of their hand if they have a land. Yeah, I mean, the minus five, minus five card is pretty good. Uh, where is it? This one. And then minus ten, minus ten. It is double black, though. It's a little bit limiting. Bat Colony! They did it. They made two 1-1s. One -one this card, though, is quite good. Artifacts your opponent's control enter the battlefield tapped. That's important with our treasures. Then they can sacrifice it and destroy each artifact with mana value X. It's gonna be pretty difficult for them to destroy the Jade Seed Stones. Well, we get to fork their Brood Rage, based on how they played, like that. And I'm going to go ahead and favor here. They are still going to be able to kill my dinosaur, uh, but let's go ahead and just start popping off. Kinda was hoping that wouldn't be a land given the board state. Like I wanted that to get the uh get the counter. Alright. Yeah, keep your silly bats. I'll run that out. I guess I'll run that out too. Alright. How many creatures do we have in our grave? One. I wish this said two creatures or artifacts from your grave. That'd be nice. They're discovering. <laughs> oh no! I mean, I guess they could put that in their hand, but they're tapped out this turn. It's not going to help them this turn. What does this want me to do? I have to craft it with a creature. Should we do it? We're gonna do it? Are we gonna craft? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I should choose the grave, but we have another chance. I won't get greedy. We'll do the grave. Temptation to just get the woman out. So not good. Here. Chose this one because obviously they're going to want to get this one off the battlefield. And they're going to also kill our 7-7, uh, seven, seven, I'm sure of it. But how about that? We paid seven mana and uh, gained two life and got a seven seven. Uh, 
They're gonna kill it. Nothing we can do about it. We'll put our buff over here. Oh, they're not gonna kill it. Oh, it's four damage, it's not attacking creature. Why did I think it was like gonna destroy an attacking creature? Never mind. We win. How are explore cards impacting my land counts? I've been running 16 in every single deck, and I still feel like I'm getting a lot of lands. Um, and I also run at least one land cycler in every deck, so I've been running 16 with a land cycler and some explore. So far it seems to be a good number. Let's play this deck at least one more time. Um, then we'll go from there. So, at some point, um, I think I want to stream later tonight. I've had a lot of people say they want me to stream, like, later, like 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, what I'm considering doing is cutting this stream a little bit shorter and having a long break and then coming back at 9 p.m. and doing a second stream. Um, I don't know how you guys feel about that. <laughs> But it is on my mind. What is this? I'm not playing mono black. There we go. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That would be pretty late. <laughs> um. This is a hard choice of what to keep and what to ditch. I think I'm gonna ditch the over the edge. Um, but I don't like it. This is too good of a removal spell not to keep, is what it came down to there. Consistency. <laughs> That's Arena's consistency for you. <laughs> I also, like, never run more than 40 card decks, if I can possibly help it, unless there's a very good reason to. This is a very strong start by our opponent. Not even a good kill target, because then this will become a 2-3. It's quite a good start. I'm gonna run out of 2-2. And because I'm flooding out a little bit, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and attack in and get some card draw going we can manage it but we might just lose because we are on the draw and our opponent is curving out beautifully here we'll help oh man the thing is the flyer is going to kill me because I don't have a way to reach if I don't kill it um, and eventually I can deal with this ground creature, but I don't want to deal with the ground creature right away. And if this gets bigger, eh, we can still outmuscle it, I guess. Let's play it a little slower. Let's play it out 1 1. There is temptation. I wanted to just kill that. Or the exile, a land. Ooh. We're not gonna attack. 3 4 is too big. 3 4 rare, that's really good. Yep. Yep, their deck's good. They're doing a thing, guys. <laughs> uh.
Uh, if they have any... Yeah, they do have remo They can just kill our... Cliff. Makes everything super awkward. I'm just gonna do this. If we play this out and be mana efficient, they're just gonna kill it anyway. We need to draw one of our better cards very quickly here, or else we are going to lose. Not what we needed to top. Oh dear. This is how we die. <laughs> um, I don't know if explore is the same as ring tempting. Uh, It's different. <laughs> uh, I don't... It's one of those things where it's... Ring Tempting was more of a, a looter. Fantastic. Of course it's deck insane, right? Nuts. <laughs> they have us with that. They have displayed lethal against us. 